We want to be sure we can read and interpret a graph, a pie chart, a bar graph, and line graphs. Graphs can come in many different formats. One is a table of information. Here, for example, we have commercial fishery landings. The year, which would be represented by the x-coordinate, 1997 up through 2001, and the landings, 380, 257, 406, 415, and 324. Please notice that, in a sense, the 1997 is an x value, the 380 is a y value. We want to be able to look at the information we have and make predictions. Another type of graph is a pie chart. The entire graph stands for 100%. In this particular case, we're dealing with shipping policy, and 45% goes to trucks. The next day goes 15%, and the second day after that is 40%. Notice that if you add all these together, you wind up with 100%, which is a necessary item when dealing with a pie chart. We will interpret information and also apply these percentages to a total so we can get an actual number used in each of these. We also have a bar graph. In this case, it has to do with bankruptcy filings. The federal government, as well as other financial institutions, are interested in how many people are going bankrupt for 1999, for 2000, for 2001. And notice here it says thousands of bankruptcies. You have to be extra careful to read the description along both the X and the Y axis because here this looks like 20, but it actually stands for 20,000. This looks like 40, but it actually stands for 40,000. We also have line graphs where there are points on the line, and these points are connected by line segments and this is called a line graph. Now, Notice along the x-axis we have some months in a year. This is for ticket sales, but notice it's thousands of tickets sold. So this 3 represents 3,000 and this represents 6,000. You've heard the term a picture's worth a thousand words, but only if you can interpret it carefully.